just see him, but he's right here. Okay. No, we're gonna talk to him out here. I didn't know where he was. But sorry, uh, you can go back. It's all you... about the dictators. I totally took that out of context. You know, he said we need to learn about what they said, or the kids need to learn so that it doesn't get repeated. That they left that out completely. And then the other one about women going back to when women didn't vote, that was completely taken out of context. You know, and not just these little sound bites that you put in a, on a, on a 10 second newsreel and then you find out the bigger picture what he's talking about. And even with the one about the skirt issue, completely taken out of context. How was that last one taken out of context, would you say? Well, I'm trying to find out about that because I'd like to go deeper to find out what's going on. What I understand is that he was talking to a specific group of people, to a specific group, and saying, you know, women should keep their skirt down and men should keep their pants up. And talking to this specific group. Well, you put that on the news where it's not to a specific group you're talking. Like if you're talking to your kids, you're going to talk a little bit different than you were to somebody else. And then you get that taken out of context and everybody gets upset. So keep it in context. He's not, he's for the people. He's for the people, not just, you know, big government. So you think, I mean, I think one of the biggest issues you started talking about was this idea that, that um, he's a bad candidate for women because of the abortion position. You just think that's totally false. You totally disagree with that idea. I absolutely totally agree. What do you think are some of the most important things he's going to do to support women and families if he's elected? I mean, the stuff we did... Help me out here. Sorry, I didn't hear the question. What do you think are some of the most important things he's going to do to support women and families if he's elected? Well, I think he's going to uh, help families economically. I think he understands the economic issues that we're all facing right now. We can't afford to do much of anything right now but because of the economic. So I think economically he's going to help us because he understands that as a man of the people. Uh, I think his life experience is going to help with that issue tremendously. As far as women, I think his wife is going to be a tremendous support to him with her life experience and his life experience in that area. They have an understanding that many don't, and I think that will come into play in the policies and the things that he puts in motion going forward to support women. I really believe he does support women uh, economically and with women's issues and otherwise with his life experience. His life experience is that just, I mean, I know it's been talked about before that obviously he had kind of a rough life growing up uh, in terms of, you know, coming from a poorer family, a larger family, and dealing with the challenges that come with that. Is kind of that what you're referring to? Absolutely. Yeah, I think all of those life experiences will play into his decisions and policies. All right. Uh, anything more you want to say, ma'am? Uh, what's your name? How do you spell it? S I M O N E. S I M O N E. And yeah, last that's name? That's good. That's good. Simone's good. Don't want to give the last name? Okay.